Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys here. I'm Krishna Campo, and today I'm being joined by Sarah Williams. Hi, Hi Sarah. how's it going? Good. Thanks for uh, uh, joining me. We appreciate you having you here on the channel. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, we have a few questions we'd like to ask you and that we're excited about. Uh, what's it like working in the industry today? Ah, uh, God, that's a big question. Um, it's crazy, but it's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of good people, and it's it's hard work. It's a lot of making sure I'm at the top of my game, and yeah, it's a very loaded question. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's your first show or video game you have worked on? The first one. I mean, any show or real games you have worked on, what's your favorite? If you, oh, my if, favorite. If um, you have any. Uh, uh, Madoka Magica was great. Um, I loved working on Witch in the Hundred Night. Uh, League of Legends was a lot of fun, and it was great to get to come back and play another skin for her, for <laughs> Jinx, which was just so cool, so cool. Nice. Uh, just to name a few. Okay, no problem. Uh, what was it like working on Kill by Kill? Oh god, that was that was a super amount of fun, and that was just one of those shows that I love because it's insane and super hyperactive, and I was sort of like, and my character is all musical based, which was great because I dig music stuff. So that was a huge amount of fun. <laughs> Since we mentioned uh, Madoka Magica, what was it like working on that show? A little intimidating. It was my first. It was one of my first big roles, and uh, but we got into it pretty well. And then it was super depressing because of things that happened to my character. <laughs> but I loved working on it, and I loved the director, and just everything about that show was great. And I still go back to it every so often. Fantastic show. I love it. Awesome job to Alex von David, you know, for uh, for directing it. Yeah, Alex is one of my favorite directors to work with. <laughs> He's fantastic. Yes, yes. Speaking of Alex Von David, there's another show he worked on that I'm about to ask you right now. What was it like working on Sword Art Online? I was a big thrill because that was a really big title and I wasn't thinking I was gonna get it going to be on that and it was really cool when I got cast and it was also cool because again I got to go back and work with Alex again because I love working with him, so I was always happy to be able to work with him. Repeating myself. Um, and yeah, well, I mean, the one downside is like I realized that I was like, oh man, I actually don't get to do a lot, do I? Even though my character is like technically one of the main ones. I was like a little down about that. But then it was like, nah, she comes back again and again, so it's okay. Got and, to do a little more later. Yeah, and the movie as well. Yeah. Uh, another question Was that working on the Asterix War? It was a lot of fun. Uh, I keep saying that. Everything's fun. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I particularly really liked this character because she's much a little different than something I normally get to do. She, and I haven't really gotten to do a lot of soft-spoken characters, but she's so deadpan about it that it still fits me perfectly. And I think uh, and Mr. Chris Kaysen directed that, and I he's one of the newer directors I've gotten to work with. And, um, well, not new, but, um, I haven't got, I think I've only worked with him once before this, and I enjoy, I really enjoy working with him, too. Okay. And I got to do a lot in that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard good things about the show. Uh, so, another question. It is both a veil game and an anime question. What was it like working on Hyper Dimension Neptunia? I think that was, um, it wasn't quite one of the first JRPGs I did, but it was sort of one of the first game franchises I got to work on, and I was also hyped because I had just come off of Monica Magica, and both characters are voiced by the same Japanese actress, and I was like, that's cool, I get to voice match her twice, and I had no idea that it was going to become this, this franchise that kept coming back and back and back, like, I've I played uni like eight times plus now, and it's and I'm always glad to come back. <laughs> so yeah, I, I like coming back to that franchise. Good. 
Uh, another question, and this is a YouTube question. What was it like working on Final Fan Fantasy Machine Abridged? Uh, show, as someone, someone, I forget, um, it was, I, I think it was Mar my friend Martin who, uh, who knows them and said, hey, my friend Sarah really likes you guys. And so I got, cha I got to talking with them and it was just a too much. Oh man, I love you guys. This work <laughs> this is awesome. And, um, they were later like, hey, do you want to read for something? And I was like, yeah, that sounds like fun. And, um. I, I think I purely got that role because I stopped in the middle of the recording to yell at my friend who was being a jerk. And they were like, what, how you yelled at him? We want that for t fun. I was like, all right, perfect. And they're just, they're all just this well-oiled machine and they're fantastic to work with and they're so professional and I'm really glad I get the chance to do that with them. Love that series. It's so, it's so hilarious. Hope, hopefully there's going to be more later on. I hope so. Yes. I'm always the last to know. <laughs> I fine. believe so, but I believe so, yes. It's got to wait and see. All right, so I got a fun little question I'd like to ask you. If you be any character you have played in real life, who will you be and you can mix and match? I don't know if many of my characters should be in real life because many of my characters tend to blow stuff up and <laughs> do things that are chaotic. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Um, let me think here. It, it's, it's silly, but I wouldn't mind having a, a little bit of Jack Frost powers because I love that little guy and I wouldn't want to be Jack Frost because then I'd be a little blue guy, but <laughs> ah, just start punning with hee hoes all over the place. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little odd. Maybe no known because I like m music stuff, and it would be fun to play around with that. Okay, that'd definitely work. <laughs> All right, uh, next question. Is there anything else coming out that you can talk about or anything you want to plug in at this time? Um, let's see. Akiba's Beat just came out for, I think, the... Vita in the PS4, and I play uh, Na 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 Na. That's the names are difficult to get. Plus, a lot of incidentals, so I can talk about that now. And um, no, I think the other recent thing was um, I'm, I've just my character's just been at it was not just, but I think like a, a week or so ago was uh, my character uh, I voiced Mist in uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, so I finally got added to that, and I was excited to be like, yay, now I'm in, I get to say I'm in the Fire Emblem franchise. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so we come down to our last question, and we ask this to everyone. Any Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, or any other social media for the fans to contact you? Uh, generally, the best place to catch me on social media is... Uh, my Twitter, because I'm, I'm not very active on Facebook anymore, honestly, which is weird. It was like the opposite before, so now I'm really active on Twitter. And that's, uh, I have to look it up, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, That's, um, at Sarah Ann Willia, which is just my, my name, Sarah Ann Williams, but with the MS missing because I couldn't fit it. <laughs> and it. And Ann has an E in it, so yeah, it's just that. Okay. That works. All right, so thank you, Sarah. We, we're happy to have you on the, for this uh, interview. We appreciate it. And we also want to thank our, our our viewers out there for tuning in for another episode of the Ohio Guys here. So thank you all. I'm Christian. And she's Bye. Sarah. <laughs> and she's Sarah. <laughs> we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.